Okay guys, so this is um, my own little section. This is non-model related. I'm going to be talking about um, this series of stickers by Tops. Um, and I hope this camera is working alright. Because I don't have the app on my iPhone. But um, this is Garbage Pail Kids. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard about this, Robin. Yeah. It wasn't like I, like, it was, I think it was probably like a, a little bit before me. Yeah. Like my time. Probably. Um, just to give you a backstory, um, I was aged, I think I was about eight years old when I first got introduced to these. A friend of mine and his older brother collected these cards, and I remember them like they just made me laugh they were really funny and it's it has its own style of um, illustration it's very different from anything that else that I've seen and plus it's like a collectible series right um, garbage pale kids is originally from America it's produced by a company called tops um, I'm sure most of you Americans if you're watching are very well aware of tops as they're still around and they still produce a lot of cards like if you like baseball basketball ice hockey what else is there um, other other stuff as well and they still still make garbage pill kids um, as I'm gonna show you in a minute um, <clears throat> so I got this book in Japan um, it has like the original packaging from back from the mid 80s has um, Adam the Ant on the front cover. Inside has the, I think these are the, were the back of the original um, cards. Um, has some of the um, characters from the original series. What I like about this is the book is actually set out to be like the actual packs that you'd get. Um, this book is written by I think was it John Pound? Yeah, John Pound, and art by um, Spiegelman. If I can pronounce his name right. Big props to you, man. Um, just going through the book, it actually goes through all the um, the history of Garbage Pail, and actually me and Robin were talking about um, toxic waste, those little candies. Well, actually, I think this company produced one called Garbage Can. It's got it in the book, man. Which is a bit like, which is a bit like toxic waste. And that's my wife's phone going off. Sorry to um, <laughs> interrupt this video, but these are the like early collector cards. You okay, can turn that phone off. And um, these original stickers were by a guy called uh, Jack Davies um, very cool illustrations um, I'm an illustrator myself so I can really appreciate the artwork in here going to series one it started in 1985 and this was like the original packet um, and these are the original characters that were in there Nasty Nick um, Junk Food John as you can see with these pictures here, they're very old school. I can see the difference in quality from like the later editions back in the early 90s. Upchuck, Frying Brian, um, Dead Ted, <laughs> Art Apart, um, Stormy Heather, Adam Bomb, <laughs> famous. Um, Booze in Bruge, Bruce, sorry. Actually, on this book, it's got some other character names here with their actual ID um, um, numbers. I think because these cards actually came in two sets, so they had like another card with um, another character. Beautiful artwork, very simple, very um, stylistic. It kind of reminds me of the Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, sorry, Garbage Pail Kids. Um, cabbage Patch Kids, sorry. Mm. Potty Scotty. <laughs> um, th this is a Star Wars reference here. Ash Kanandi. 
That's pretty cool. Can you see that, man? Um, obviously that's a reference to Star Wars, so this was like 1985, so that would have been Emperor Strikes Back, maybe Return of the Jedi, 1985. <coughs> um, awesome, just awesome artwork. Um, I'm going to quickly go through this book. I don't want to, oh, I remember that one, Corroded Carl, or Crater Chris, the one with the acne problem. Swell Mel. <laughs> Virus Iris. Junkie Jeff. Yeah, Nervous Rex. I, I'm surprised um, that back in the day they could get away with having like these cigarettes and stuff like that being shown on c cards that were collected by kids. Just an, up just an update actually about um, about the whole chewing gum. Now these did come with like that um how can I say and Robin will know about this do you know that cheap chewing gum we used to get man uh, like the, the white chewing gum. well it was pink but had the white powder but d just didn't it just yeah. man if you slapped it against something it would like snap <laughs> yeah that, that's the stuff bro that's the stuff yeah um I mean, like opening these packs as an eight-year-old was awesome because that smell of that chewing gum was really um, uh, fragrant and like eating chewing gum while looking for your cards is just an awesome feeling, man. It's like you get the sugar rush, the high, you get the buzz of getting a card that you maybe didn't get, um, and then it's you. The, the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah it's it's something that i remember as a childhood and that's why i've you know i bought this book and uh basically i i i don't really i don't really want to recollect these at all i've seen them on ebay there are a lot of people selling their card collections off um, um obviously i'd love to get a huge set of them but i just man it's <laughs> it's bad enough modeling man. I don't want to be getting into this again <laughs> um, So to, to show you guys what was around in 1985 this was the set series 2 um, I remember smelly Kelly And Cyclops as well, I remember that card uh, for the viewers that are watching, there's only three viewers watching us right now, but um, if you are into these cards, just like, pop a comment in. Rapping Ron, Ronald Reagan, obviously Ronald Reagan was around that time. Disgusting Justin, these two cards actually, I had a lot of. These were like one of the cards that you'd get in most packs as, as doubles. And actually this guy here's got the Iron Cross and drinking beer. Uh, kind of tells you... Uh, what stuff you'd get away with back in the 80s but um this card oh so this is called russell muscle but in the latest series the b card sorry i had brett the sweat the only reason is that my friend at school was called brett and we used to call him brett the sweat because of that card I used to bully him sorry brett brett if brett gregory if you're watching i'm sorry man i didn't mean to bully you for like five years more that but Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Dirty Harry, this is a very popular card that I got, and this one, Jolted Joel, or AKA Live Mike. Um, Frying Ryan, Harry Gary. Yeah, those cards I had. Tommy Gunn had that card. I had, that. I had many of these cards. It's just a sad shame that I, I can't remember what's whatever happened to them, sadly. Um, so let me just flick through this quickly guys and I'll do some unboxing don't want to make it too long <coughs> Hot Scott Shrunken Ed ah this one here Funny Lisa or Mona Loser that was a popular card I had many doubles of those <coughs> yeah very interesting very creative 
<coughs> this is the height of like 80s kind of niche um, collectibles I think um, if any of you guys want to learn more or learn or want to know more about um, garbage pile I'm going to put a link in the description for wiki um, I'm sure there's many like fun fanboy sites of this out on the internet or Facebook groups and um, just check them out and if you were uh, were around the 80s um, I'm sure this is gonna bring back some memories for you and um, this one here split kit I had that one I really like that card his aka name was mixed up Mitch there's a lot of references to a lot of like historical things as well in these cards actually this is going into series 3, 1986. <coughs> so you can see maybe the cards have got slightly more interest. Oh, that's a cool one. Um, I never got this card, Robin. It's, a it's like a Gundam Transformer one. That's pretty cool. It's called Hothead, Hothead Harvey or Roybot. A stoned Sean. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this one. It's a picture, Robin, of a of a kid who's a stone, but he's smoking a spliff <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Remember, kids were collecting these cards, by the way. <laughs> um, bru bruised Lee. <laughs> Look at that one. It's a kid. Bruised Lee, as in Bruce Lee, he's got like, his character. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, fucking hell. I didn't, I didn't have most of these cards. I, I can't remember these ones. Um, it, it, like I said, if you guys want to get this book, um, check it out. Um, you can probably get it on Amazon. Still, as an illustrator myself, I just, I just love this kind of artwork. It's just. Uh, um, Snooty Sam, I've actually got Snooty Sam on this unboxing that I'm going to do, uh, which is kindly sent to me by uh, Chandra Stewart and Sean. Thank you very much. They live out in uh, Auckland, out in San Van. Big up to those. This video wouldn't be possible without those guys sending me those kits. Oh, I've, got, I've actually found a name for mine. St uh, Starring Darren. Because all these names, yeah, look. Starring Darren. I'm just trying to think if there's a Robin in there. I'll have to. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check if there's a Robin one in there. Warming Norman, Eerie Eric, Rocky and Roll, Half Nelson. Um. Yeah. So sad. Oh yeah. So um, one of. I was speaking to a guy called David Sean. He's out in um, America. I think he's out from. He's in from. Uh, I think he's from LA. He was telling me that in America they actually stopped putting bubble gum in these packs because it was causing um, or giving the image of kids getting overweight, which is just a total load of bollocks. Um, so uh, it's quite sad. I may. I never did. With most, when I was getting older. I like I said I'd just throw that fucking chewing gum away because it was it was nasty. <laughs> it wasn't the best thing. Well, you gotta think, man. That's come from a warehouse in America, and how long's that been sat in the warehouse waiting to be shipped? <laughs> you know what I mean? It would be exactly the same taste. <laughs> yeah. It'd probably survive a nuclear holocaust, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, Bony Tony, oh, that's one, Furry, Furry Marie, Hip Kip, Rocky Horror, oh. yeah, there's one called F Furry Murray, Furry oh. Murray, uh, the Bill Murray, yeah, probably, <laughs> <laughs> there's one called Rocky Horror, as in the Rocky Horror show, that one, Uh, Max Axe, this one's a very famous um, card. I think maybe that one might have been at the back of one of the posters. I'm not quite sure. <coughs> um, 
Alien Ian, Double Iris, uh, Mouth Phil, Ashley Can, Bruce Moose, uh, Melba Toast. Oh, that's pretty interesting. What's up, Bob? How you doing, man? Thanks for watching. Um, Horny Howl, Dale Snell, Baked Jake. Reese Pieces, oh, okay. Harry Harriet, yeah, I remember Harry Harriet. Losing Faith. Jack O' Lantern, okay, that was a new one. <coughs> oh. Warren Warren, or Brett Vett. Sean Shane. Okay, that's, that's pretty crazy. These some some of them got a little bit crazy near the end. Um, obviously, I've got an unboxing to do right now. So, um, God, Gordon. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna quickly fri flick through and uh, just go through these pictures. Menace Dennis, oh, okay, get that reference. Condor Mini. I think I stopped. That's a bit one. Mosquito. <laughs> I think I stopped collecting these when I got to about maybe 12 years old. I just don't know what happened to the cards. Probably got them stolen at school, I can't remember. <coughs> And I actually asked my old friend who got me into this, like, do you still have your old card? And he's like, no. I'm like, but dude, you had so many of them. He's like, yeah, no. I was like, they're worth money now, man. <coughs> Dangling Danny. Um, Doey Joey, Gory May. Uh, Jules Drools. Okay, that's pretty cool. Toofy Roofy. <laughs> Um, Hot Rod, Def Jeff, and that's that's the end. Actually, I have I have read this book, and um, it does talk about like some of the cards when they were released. There were some printing issues where they had like discoloration, or there was a misprint or something, and they were produced. And like those cards are like worth a shitload of money to collectors. Yeah. Um, so on the back of these cards, you used to have a part of a picture, a bit like a puzzle, where you would have to make a, a bigger picture. And this is the one from series one, which is Adam Ant, which is the most iconic Garbage Pail Kid character ever. I unfortunately never got to this stage of getting the whole um, back of this design. I know Dave Sean, he had four series where he got all the poster sets. So he got all the cars to make a big poster. And in the back of this book, it actually has a special edition bonus sticker set, which is actually in the book. Um, I haven't opened it. Because um, I just want to, I want to keep it as you know, keep it as it is. Um, at the end of this video, um, I'm also going to be um, putting some images up, which a guy from England, I think, is Andy Smith. A big thanks to you, Andy. Um, he kindly did a Dropbox for me, where he was also a collector and. Um, um, he sent me loads of JPEG images of the actual cards, which I'm going to put at the end of this video once I've edited it. Let's do a quick unboxing. Um, I don't want to unbox all the cards. Um, sadly, they don't come with the crappy chewing gum, so I'm kind of hungry right now. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, <laughs> This is the 2015 sticker set from Garbage Battle Kids. It comes with four packs and one bonus sticker, tops, and quite crazily, it says age is six plus. 
Hmm, very strange. Um, on the side of the box, it's got one of the characters there. It says, look for all-star and mascot sticker cards, rare sketch cards and more. So there are lots of these boxes. There are 132 new sticker cards to collect. Um, on the back of the box, which is... Uh, it's a bit different. <clears throat> oh no, it's just uh, vertically set. Um, it's the same box out as the front. Um, I think from what I gather, um, I did some research of it. I think I can actually order these off the Tops website and I, I think they will ship internationally. Um, I'm hoping so because I'm hoping to get a few more of these box sets. Um, obviously I wish I had the original series but anyway. Inside the box, um, it's about maybe a 20 centimeter high box. Um, inside you have um, the packs, they're all in foiled packages. And there's something weird that I was talking about last night was the fact that this one exclusive bonus card inside actually has a, 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 a magnetic security tag stop people from thieving them kind of tells you what's going on in the world right now um, I have four packs right now and this totally feels different from way back when because you've got ten cards in it I remember I think you used to get three cards and a cards and the battery to cut off so sorry about that I'm um, gonna we'll have to do some cutting and editing so we got four of these 2015 cards and I'm going to open, um, let's say, two of these. Um, so let's open this one here. Um, like I said, just before the camera just cut out, um, on the back it's got um, some information about the ing what's inside, customer service, uh, made by Tops. 10 cards in here like I said just before the video cut out we didn't get 10 cards back in the day I think you got three I think these cards were like 10 pence or something like that or 15p oh god this brings back some memories so I'm gonna carefully open these up oh it's quite nice having foil um, Oh, I'm opening it very carefully. It's like, you know. Whoa. Wow. So I'm 36 years old. I think the last pack I opened of these were like when I was about nine. It's bringing back some memories. So, what have we got here? We've got Boxing Clover. And there is some picture out the back to make the poster. These cards feel a lot more. These are cards, not like stickers. I think back in the day, I think they were stickers, right? But that's one card, Boxing Clover. Very cool design. I like the colors and stuff. The next one is Branch, Branch Brad. Very cool, very different. <coughs> um, the next one is Alarming Adam. <laughs> Cool, like fire alarm that's melting with his eye popping out looks a bit like Glenn from uh, The Walking Dead um, <clears throat> Candy Andy <clears throat> this looks a bit like uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory I like the colors and stuff it's very like um, hypnotic almost <clears throat> um, Vinny Sean mm, very strange cool design actually that's the back of it it's gonna be a big post at the back of these <coughs> atomic reggie mm, very suspect <laughs> he's got his duds over his head very odd. and that's the back um this oh what's this wow okay so i've just got two cards one's a license card and one's this one I think they did these like um, <coughs> special edition ones um, Stitch Steve I think it's some garbage pill like player Stitch Steve is a creation of a mad 
uh, Satirius, they say that he was stitched together from leather skin of a whole season's worth of retired damaged baseballs. <laughs> they say that he's a lean, mean baseball hitting machine, but they say a lot of things. And he's got a question at the bottom. Baseball trivia quiz. What is Stitch Steve's nickname? I don't know that one. You probably um, have to be a collector, a hardcore collector, to find out the answer. I, there is an answer to it. I don't want to look at it, though. But that's a pretty cool card. And that is... That is more of a thicker card than the other ones. I don't know if this is from the... It says rookie card on there. So I don't know if it's from the, the old school collection. This one here looks to be like a, a sticker. Stolen Nolan. And it's got like a Garbage Pell Baseball League 2015. It's got some information about this character here. That's pretty cool. This feels like a sticker almost. <laughs> um, collector Kyle <laughs> that has some interesting information on the back oh that's pretty cool man these are a lot different from the old school ones and chewing she that's another baseball card I think this theme set must be something to do with um, baseball as the, all the cards are like baseball related. I'm gonna open a second pack. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay, wow, cool. Um, Laird Lester, <laughs> it's an onion. Oh wow, that's that is so cool. Irresponsible airboat, it's like cat in the hat, GPK. Oh that's sick. These cards are really cool. I'm really happy about them. KF KF Cino. That's Colonel Sanders, KFC man, reference. Awesome. Uh kicked kit. the drum kit that's kind of in this weird thing oh wonky willy oh no I've got a double up on that oh no it's not a double up that's his aka name he's got candy andy wonky willy oh man that's that's cool that is cool uh, basil bass it's definitely a baseball thing going on here um, Slipper Stefan Pepper Milton That's cool um, Enema Eric He's <laughs> 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 fucking crazy Ampit Annie That reminds me of one of my ex-girlfriends She had hairy armpits It's kind of disturbing Um we won't, get into, we won't get into that. Yeah, she's... Man, I had to tell her some crunch. You know, sort that hair out. But, awesome set already, guys. That was from the 2015 set. I'm so happy with that. And I've still got two... Two packs left to open. Chandra Stewart, I'm going to have to PayPal you some more money. <laughs> The addiction has started already. I'm already hyped up. I've actually bought one of these, like a little, um, oh, they fit perfectly. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is awesome. So I bought one of these cheap folders to put my uh, cards in because I'm, I'm nerding out at the moment. So I want to keep all these for little Godzilla when she gets older, hopefully. Uh, my little baby girl, she might start collecting these like I did way back when. And they fit perfectly in there. That's, that's awesome. Um, let's put those back. Um, oh shit, yeah, let me just open this bonus. I might have to do another YouTube video because I don't want to bore um, Robin to death with this. But, um, and that's a bonus one, Big Ben. 
bonus sticker. It's just got a bonus sticker written on the back. Yeah, these cards feel a lot different. They're not like the old school cards, by all means. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I really do miss having the shit fucking um, chewing gum in there. <laughs> I was actually going to do like a challenge of like eating all the chewing gums at once. Let's see, uh, to see how long I could last. Okay, so that's the 2015 series, guys. Let me put those down there. Let me open um, this box. This is 2014. I'm only going to open one up. It's basically Adamant on the front. Um, on the side, it's got like Iron Man. It's got like these uh, uh, Flash Gordon, is it? These characters. So I'm kind of feeling that maybe this box set is based on um, superheroes <coughs> um, okay let's uh, open this one up I'm feeling like Christmas right now I don't know what it is with collectible cards and stuff like that I think this there's so much excitement opening these things up it's, uh, especially when you're aged like Bloody nine years old, and I'm 36, and I'm still getting hyped up about it, you know. Um, well, okay, the first card that we got in there was uh, it's called Knocked Nolan. I look in the back, okay, that's like the bottom left edge. Um, projectile Giles, kids spewing up, that's pretty cool. Tonya Tower, which is like a Jenga character. It's pretty sick. Um, Scary Larry. Back Jack. <laughs> nice. I love that one. I love the colours. They're a bit... Some of these cards are a bit... Uh, they're alright. They're, they're not as interesting as like the original set, but I, I do like them. And they are a bit different. Bubble Bobby. Oh wow, look. Back of that, it's a half Batman. Yeah, half Superman. These are, it's a, this is like a superhero set, I think. Hanging Herb. Oh yeah. On some of these cards, they would have a checklist card as well. That's pretty cool. I didn't have the checklist card on the other one. Friendly Francis. Oh wow, look. Is that the Riddler on there? Oh man, I'm gonna have to start collecting these cards again. <laughs> <laughs> Abundance Andy, as in Andy Warhol. Oh, that's a really good card. Sick. And then Found Flint, which is like a Where's Wally card. That is amazing. Actually, I was like kind of worried about this set. I was like, the first few cards that I got, were like, nah. But the last, the last ones in here that I got were pretty sick. So that's from 2014, guys. I'm probably gonna have to do another video because I want to put these in my uh, folder and nerd out. Um, and I'll, I'm also going to be doing um, a whole series on the uh, 60 day um, Big Cuddy Man Choco Challenge that I'm uh, going to be doing. Uh, basically, I'm attempting to eat 60 um, chocolate waffle cakes in 60 days. That's one a day. And I'll be showing you guys all the stickers that I get with the um, wafers. Um, hence, I'm going to be putting on about maybe 9,000 calories. Um, but anyway. This is the one that I'm more interested in because this one is the Garbage Pail Kids American as Apple Pie in Your Face box set. Thank you, Chandra. I love you. And Sean, you guys are the best people ever. This has 24 packs, 10 stickers per pack, so you can do the math. It's 240. I'm hoping that I can actually get a full set and not get any doubles because this pack, look at it, dun, dun, dun. I'm having that crack feeling right now. Look at all the cards in here, man. Look at, just look at all that. That's just, man. 
Let me just get them all out. Look at that. Yeah, I, I'm hoping, Robin. It even comes in with a little bit of styrene. That possibly I might get a full set. It's 240 cards, man. And there's about 150 to collect. So, the person. Yeah. <laughs> if not, it's going to be. <coughs> Chandra, send me some more. <coughs> cards. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's let's get let's dig into these. I'm I'm kind of thinking, is this something more related to America because of like the front cover? It's Uncle Sam, right? I think is it. Um, I can't get these bloody things open. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Nice. First card in that um, set is called Frat Matt. Now, I have to say, like, these are the newest cards. Um, I do see a big difference in the illustration work. It's a lot, it's not a lot of difference, but I can see the difference in the quality. I don't know how to explain it, it's hard to say. Frat Matt, what's on the back? As America as Apple Pie Sticker, okay. Um, skip skater I think these must be like cards that are related to American culture probably Sculpt Ralph America's pastime sticker uh, 2A of 9 okay. oh they've got a different like collecting scheme on the back Bell Buck L <coughs> sick um, helicopter Heather oh reminds me a little Zilla there I have to give her that card when she gets older. American Deluxe sticker, cool. Uh, plastic Paula, <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, that's a nice card, I like that one. Wanted Crass Kid for picking his nose in public. That's pretty cool. American Icon sticker, oh, wow, okay. I kind of get the feel of this series. Urinal Cake Jake, oh my God. There's a sticker here, right, Robin? It's called Urinal Cake Jake, and he's eating the, um, the you know, like the urinal um, bath salts? He's, like the blue yeah, it's him eating one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking deranged. Grim. Uh, <laughs> Scrim Mitch. And Gold, Gold Russ, as in, not as in like Gold Rush, as in, you know. Gold. US historical. Ah, okay. I kind of get this theme. The only thing I don't like about this series is the fact that there's no poster on the back. Um, this is actually related to American culture. So, like for the urinal guy, it says American inventor sticker. So, in 1866. The, urina the uri uh, urinal was uh, urinal was invented by America by Andrew Rankin. Oh, there you go, guys. You learn something every day. Okay, let me open one more set. I don't want to bore you all to death because this will be a long video, but I'm kind of hooked already. Collecting cards. Did you collect any cards, Robin, when you were a kid? Right. <coughs> oh yeah, you're a Pog fan, aren't you? You should come to Japan, man. They, they sell bloody, they sell those for nothing out here. You can get bags of them. Um. <laughs> um. This card here is Firework Kirk. Again, he's got that on the back. Um, Dunked Dolph. Yeah, I kind of like these, man. They're all right. They're getting better in this this set that I got. Paul Bunyan. Oh, that's pretty awful. Um, Nask Nascal. 
Teslas in NASCAR. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, apart. Oh, okay. Um, two-party system. Um, Colin Collector. Ah, that that's cool. I like that card. Wow. Okay, Missy America. Mess America, okay. Uh, Bill Ryder. <laughs> and uh, and Cal Crew. Oh, okay. It's like the Teddy Boy stuff. So there you go, guys. That was just a quick unboxing of the uh, Garbage Pell kits that I've kindly got from uh, Chandra Stewart and um, Sean. Big thanks to you. And you'll be getting one of... Um, our version of these cards um, sent out to you um, which is called Big Cuddy Man and uh, yeah guys uh, if you're watching this video I'm probably gonna do another video it's, it's gonna take me too long to open every single pack of these it's probably better that I do a YouTube video that just concentrates on a few unboxings but um, for the people that are watching I hope that is this has brought back some happy memories of your childhood um, it definitely has brought back some happy memories for me. I'd like to thank Robin as well for putting up for my geek talk. Thank you, Robin. Um, <laughs> me talking bollocks for the last um, 30 minutes. But uh, I'll be keeping you guys updated on my Garbage Pail collection. Um, I'm, it looks like I'm probably going to try and find somebody from America that is willing to uh, maybe sell me their collection of Series 1 because I'm a nerd and I like collecting stupid things and wasting money um, so to all my YouTube viewers um, that are watching it live thank you for watching um, and for the guys that are watching it on the recorded show I'm sorry about the uh, technical itches and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible just a quick update on the models um, I've got a few more models to review I'm not going to say that on camera right now but I'm also going to be doing a review of the um, Jolly Rancher candies, the Reese's, and Kool-Aid. You know what Kool-Aid is, uh, Robin? Yeah, yeah. I managed to get some of it from Chandra. She sent me some, so I'm quite fascinated by trying that stuff out. I know a lot of people in America don't like it because <laughs> it's just awful, but um, anyway. Take care, guys. Love you and leave you. TMD out. Peace.